Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a business scenario called QR code for B2C invoices. This business scenario is only applicable for India localization where as per Indian government or GST law for all the B2B customer invoices the QR code or you know, IRN number has to be generated from the government portal. But for B2C customers say unregistered customers okay for those customers the E invoicing is not required. Instead, government is, you know, has brought up rules where the taxpayer, that means the organization, when they are selling things to the B2C B2C customers, the QR code has to be generated by the taxpayer, means for the organizations. As you see, the main motto of generating QR codes for B2C invoices is to promote digitalization of payments using only UPI. Which means for B2C invoices, a ERP system or any accounting system has, you know, mandatorily, uh, you know, that a QR code has to be generated. Let's see how we can achieve this in Microsoft Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. So, the first thing we need to go to System Administration, Feature Management, and from here we need to enable a feature called Dynamic QR Code. Uh, let's see what is the exact name. Uh, dynamic QR code on customer invoice make sure that you know you only explore or configure this for India legal entity because as I mentioned this feature or the business case business scenario is only applicable for India so that's why it is written as India specific it is already enabled now this is first thing now the second part is that we need to go to organization administration electronic reporting workspace and then Microsoft repositories from here I will go to global and then I need to import one configuration name called dynamic QR code India IN I will click on import but I will not click on it is already exist I have already imported this one and this is the configuration import once the configuration is imported the next part is that we need to go to account receivable parameters and here into the electronic documents tab under account receivable parameter here you will be able to see this dynamic QR code option and from here you need to select the dynamic QR code configuration which we have imported just right now or when you will import you will be able to see this configuration here you need to select this and after that what we need to do we need to uh, we will create a sales order now we will see the outcome of the configuration so I will create a sales order the same thing uh, you know this QR code printing dynamic QR code printing from dynamics is possible uh, from the free text invoice as well since that is very easy and sales order is kind of a uh, normal process so I wanted to show you with this sales order so I will go and create a sales order with, with record details there is only one change which is before confirming or while you are creating the sales order in the header section you will be able to see the this option called print dynamic QR code in case you don't see it after configuration configuration then probably you need to add it by insert column and you can save it as saved view it will stay like this it's fine and one more thing we wanted to we want to I wanted to show you that this is <clears throat> see when we say this outcome uh, it will be printed as a QR code 
but what it will be printed it will be printed the bank details or the company's gstn number so we need to make sure that the method of payment see uh, in the sales in the sales order we cannot select the company's bank account the only way to select the company's bank is to select the method of payment and in the method of payment we need to make sure the bank account is selected so then it will take from there and it will print bank account details so i have added it method of payment and in the here header print dynamic qr code is enabled okay and then i will select the item okay it's done i will now confirm it let's wait this confirm now i will not do in the interest of time i will not do the pick and pack i will directly go to invoice and generate the invoice okay and here i will click okay and the say the invoice once it is posted it will be printed because i have just enabled the print invoice so now we will be able to see the outcome so the invoice is done now directly that the invoice will be printed now as you see this is automatically coming from dynamics this qr code is generated from dynamic system since and if you you know in real cases when the bank account having correct details then if you scan it then you will be able to see the bank details and the company's or invoice number details invoice details so this is the outcome of the re business scenario which is a mandatory part where a customer is b2c and organization is doing the invoice then this qr code dynamic qr code will come okay as for the bank details so this is not part of invoicing this is part of the erp system which is generating the qr code okay so now i will repeat what we have done we have enabled the feature we have imported the electronic configuration and we have con we have selected the configuration in the electronic document uh, you know setup in account receivable parameter then the configuration is done however while you know creating the sales order or or you know while creating the free text invoice in the header section in the sales order header or free text invoice header you need to select as print dynamic qr code once it is done you need to select the method of payment which will have the bank selected and then you can create a sales order and invoice it as per the process normal process or if it is free text invoice you need to just invoice it and if you you know uh, view the report you will be able to see the qr code as we have seen just right now so this is all about the business scenario and how we can you know achieve this requirement by very simple functionality so that is all about the configuration and the business scenario i want to talk thanks for watching i think you will you have been you know able to learn something new today let's you know stay tuned for another video like this thank you for watching bye